Drum, Philly film. Drum, games. Drum. It's over. Hey everybody, welcome back to the worst. Being awake. Yep. Eric's gonna be taking on some of the worst. As well, or, or wait, no, those are both the worst. Yep. The awake, awake. Awake's that four-legged thing over there. Okay. Somehow that's what I feel like it's gonna be. Being awake is like. Sometimes when I wake up and move around, I'm I'm usually a four-legged beast too. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, I don't really want to get. Like, this is. Yeah. You don't really have that option because you've got a bed. I I sleep Japanese style and it's like, no, I can just crawl. <laughs> just crawl around. Yeah. It's like, uh, oh god, when I wake up, it's hilarious because, uh, I have two alarms. The one I put by my by my television so that I actually have to move. Yep. And the other one sits um, here on the couch. And here's some insider information none of you want to know. My bed is right behind the couch <laughs> that we sit on. Yep. And so, um, my bed looks like a we Really, it's kind of like a weird playpen. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I'm, I'm surrounded by shit. I don't really have a way to get in it other than falling into it. Um, actually, I think I have like a two foot wide gap between the wall and the couch. And, and yeah, the that, stuff. And the stuff. <laughs> um, so that's, that's how I get in. But um, it's like, yeah, I'm... I've been sleeping that way for probably, God, how long has that been? When did I move into the, when did I move into the, um, oh God, it's probably since like senior year of college. Uh, so it's been over 10 years that I've been doing this. I, just, I, 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 beds are almost to the point that I don't even, I mean, I, I don't. You just don't? I just don't sleep in beds. I mean, the. I might sleep... I'll sleep in a bed when I'm at a hotel, or... I mean, I don't... Not Murphy beds. What do are, what are they call those Those beds um, that come out of couches? The hideaway thing? Yeah, yeah, the hideaway... Like a hideaway bed. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's my the one at my dad's house, but I don't really sleep at my dad's too often. Because um, I hate my bed now. It's not my water bed. Uh, but we've had that discussion before. Ugh... <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just don't have a bed. I, I mean, and it, like I said, it started my senior year of college, and it was just one mattress. And so I'm literally like an inch off the ground, if that. Mm -hmm. And it's just the way I've always been. Uh, great thing about it is I never fall out. <laughs> bless you. I never fall out of bed. That was a cute sneeze, by the way. <laughs> it was. It was like, choo. It's like, you got all wound up for a big one. It's like, choo. <laughs> Try not to let them go all the way because, like, when I did that when my son was little, it made him cry. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I've never, I, I've never cared about that thing. I'm, I'm, my mother's the same way. Like, we both just, like, if it's coming, it's coming. We don't, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> it and I, I, but I think that's always been more satisfying. Like, trying to hold it in, I think that does more damage to you. Yeah, it can. Then good. Oh, good. The ecto cooler field is up, and now we're gonna face. Now I'm about to get boned. Oh, these guys! Look, are those pickaxes? Like what the? Yeah, they got like picks for hands. Oh, that's fun. The they're rabid. Oh shit! I I don't want to get shots. And the fairy. No wait, no, they don't do that anymore. That used to be, if you got if you got bit by something rabid it would be shots to the stomach I think now they have some form of antibiotic that does it now I don't think you need to get the shots to the stomach anymore but then again I'm basing all of my medical knowledge on that from a movie from 1978 yeah I have a uh, feeling it's changed since then um, cause that's what it used to be cause I remember that was always a because in my neighborhood, uh, back home, when I was growing up, we as children did not know what 
we just knew being a rabid animal was a thing, but we just didn't know <laughs> what kind of thing it was. Like what, like what really entails being rabid. So whenever we would see an animal anywhere, like don't touch it, you'll get rabies. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, what's that mean? And like, yeah, I remember Angie was one of the neighbor girls, and she would always, you know, what happens when you get rabies? You got to. You're gonna, you're gonna take shots to the stomach, and I'm like, I don't want that. So like, anytime we'd, I'd see an animal, I'd be like running away because I didn't like <laughs> not want to get near, anywhere near it. Like, because apparently everything we thought had fucking rabies. I don't even know how that was a thing with us. Like, everything was fucking rabies ridden. Everything was rabid. Yeah, it was like, I think about it now. I was like, why the fuck were we so scared of shit? Like, if we saw a dog, no, it's got rabies. If we saw a cat, no, it's got rabies. Like, it's a what? fish. It's rabid. It probably was, <laughs> for all I know. You're fucking crazy. God damn. But then again, what do you expect? Just sit around and fucking watch Rambo cartoon, for God's sakes. And call that fun. Yeah. God, that was, that was the big thing. Uh... When, when those those two were my neighbors, Angie and Scotty were these two people. Uh, these two kids that lived next door to me, and Scotty fucking loved Rambo. Holy shit! The only thing he loved more than Rambo was He Man. Holy shit! When we when we would play outside, that's what, was like. What do you want to play today? I would be like, What do you want to play today, Rambo? We played that for a week fucking straight. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sick right now. A week freaking straight. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I was eight that I started saying fucking. Yeah. (laughs) I grew up so much. (laughs) Actually, I didn't start swearing until I was like 14. Uh, uh, But yeah, he... Oh, God. I remember his... It was his sixth birthday. He got a shit ton of... Um, God, Ryan's fucking ass right now. I can't even. <laughs> uh, there. <laughs> thank you. I mean, it's not as bad as a thong, but it was pretty bad. Um, his sixth birthday, Scotty got a, 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 just a ton of of stuff from He-Man. And it was at that time when they introduced the new characters from, um, I think She-Ra had just can't come into being. Oh, okay. And uh, so there were more characters from that. And I remember he got so many He-Man toys from all of his family. He started getting doubles. Oh, goody, the cutscene that I've... The war. The pink mustache. Oh, God, I remember him now. Yep. Bust the rust. Oh, come now. Dick, son. Yeah, dick. It's like that old uh, Red Peter song. How's your whole family? How's your whole... Oh, come on with conviction. Jesus, that's a gun. Yeah, That's like a fucking... Gr- Good. Jesus. Oh, they're, yeah, the giant spiders. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say... Oh, that's right, I forgot that they're in this, too. The no ponder like the fucking Ewoks of this game. Pretty much. <laughs> Uh-huh. Thank you for that. And a, here they come. Now I was going to say, you know, tactically this is a stupid battle because you're in a valley. Yeah, you this, don't even have the high ground right now. They are more capable of flight than you. <laughs> you boom! And they got those things. Yeah, the faced mech on them. Faces and spears. Oh, 
I am. Oh. Kick some ass. Dude. Oh, come on. Dixon should be using this fucking Hulkamania. Yeah, that's the same. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll give you that one, Dixon. Yeah. That was good. Now Dixon's a target. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, you deserve a hot cup of dicks for that. Oh, he caught one. Damn. <laughs> a hot cup of Dixon? <laughs> nice. Dixon's just like, I'll take you all! He has to be God! <laughs> there's there's no other explanation for any of this shit. Dixon is God. I'm assuming she's talking about the robots. Well, she's talking about just Dixon. Uh, yeah, cause... Or if that's not Dixon has reached full potential, holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it just seems like Dixon is God here. Like he can't do any wrong. He just knows all the shit. He's like been around. He's been on. He knew about seven the grand. <laughs> you mean, just got ten grand. Yep. For teleporting. Holy fuck, sticks! And now I'm in the residential district of the city. I guess they're just saying hi to everybody. Hey, Holy how's it going? Yeah, I can imagine you walk in. Sunny days, <laughs> keeping the clouds away. Holy fuck. You've got to be out of your fucking... Ten grand in experience. Oh. Agnarov, yeah. Um, it's a blob. I was going to say, uh, I think your horse is, isn't tied down. Holy shit. I, ugh. Wow. Um. <laughs> yeah, well. This is some shit. God. I've said this way before, way too many times. On a week, this is fucking beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I don't normally get left speechless except in a fucking cutscene. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we've established that. No one spells civilization with an S. That's the smartest thing I've heard. Oh, don't be a judgy Jason over there, you fuckhead. <laughs> like, a week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, that's one of the Telethia. Oh, okay, because I'm sitting here thinking, like, what the fuck is that? Um, uh, oh, oh, it's stone. And yeah, made out of rocks. Like, they're using that one as a bridge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. Because we knew how to rock. <laughs> and we built the city on rock and roll. Can't you just tell us something instead yeah. of just run around? Yeah, I don't want to run around. <laughs> yes, I'm glad that's a huge jump drive, but I don't fucking care. Quit being, re quit being so fucking e e enigmatic. I just want fucking answers. Can I get that shit? Oh, you got a fortune feather. Hot damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Uh, I just really hope there's not enough fight here. It's just like, hopefully this is just like a short walk to get over yeah, there. And... I, I think I think this music is too, too relaxing. To have a fight. Blue light amp. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's to power up the blue light specials at Kmart. Mm -hmm. To get them ready. <laughs> God. I think that's still a thing, right? Jesus Christ! Look, I walked 30 feet. And got seven grand. Uh, oh. I can talk to these things. Quests and... and a store. Yes. A store! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in forever. Now, well, I mean, 
I hope they've got fucking books. Yeah, we've been like forever the, not. Get, go straight to the fucking books. I want books. They don't have them. No! And most of these can only be used by either Ryan or... Oh. 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 This is... Are any of them good? So far, no. This. This is ass! I think other than, like, giving... Oh, I thought it said onion gloves. Onion gloves. I'm having a real problem reading shit today. Onions, boners, uh, onion boners. Yeah, onion boners. <laughs> I can imagine that. Oh god, could you imagine if someone called their dick the onion because it makes girls cry when they see it? It makes people cry. <laughs> oh god, I need therapy. I probably do. I used to ask for that shit all the time when I was in the service. Um, cause I used to have, when I was in my platoon, the sergeants in charge of the cable section would always threaten me with, uh, psych evaluations and I'd be like, just fucking do it. Okay, Quit threatening. On. Bring it on. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, I want to know. Like, am I fucking crazy? Cause apparently I don't mesh well with everybody around here. <laughs> everybody uh, thinks I'm nuts. Can we just find out? Yeah, like, <laughs> shit. We, you can't have, you can't just claim, claim I can be a section eight by consensus. You gotta have a fucking diagnosis, you assholes. Uh-huh. It's like, shit. Scary thing was, I was probably one of the most sane human beings in the entire fucking post. I didn't know there's that. <laughs> well, I mean, the shit, I mean, I've told you some of the shit that's happened in that, when I was fucking there. I mean... There were dudes, like I had a dude, there was a dude in our unit who attempted suicide, but was talked down and then blew his shoulder off with a shotgun he was, that was in his mouth. Hmm. Uh, there was the dude who, well he wasn't in my unit, but he, um, he ran a child porn ring with his own fucking children. Jesus Christ. Uh, there was the, the guy who would sit in his in his fucking tent and simulate shooting his fellow soldiers because he didn't like any of them. Mm hmm I'm fucking calm in, in regard looks like a Gundam I was gonna say this is starting to make her look pretty crazy. Jesus Christ. She's a fucking Gundam. It's just what it is. Yeah. And she's got blades like that horse that has the blades everywhere. True. Jesus Christ. Everyone else gets naked and she brings on knives. City planning terminal? Oh, so you gotta... So this is a whole quest to get shit back to order. Yeah, it looks like this is another military. Okay. Oh, this is to go kill certain robots that aren't listening anymore. Oh. Military status, city protection, strategic intel. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I mean, the shit that would go down there, I... Pretty sure I was the closest to sane. And, I mean... I mean, like, shit that I would do... Or shit that would get done... Like, I mean, I cause trouble and shit, but my god. It's just fucking insanity. I mean, Jay and I, my friend Jay and I would cause all sorts of antics, but not on company time, or on duty. I mean, we were, we were, we were a little, uh, out there, but we weren't fucking, uh, Destroying shit while we're on duty. We're not complete assholes. Time for some cutscenes. Oh, goody. Good, I've been missing those cutscenes. Yeah, I have too. Oh, thank God the text is covering his nipples. I wouldn't know how to react. To your work. What's the matter? Everyone, follow me. 
Okay. Uh, if you don't want us to follow her, then say something. Don't gasp. Holy shit, yeah, she is... What is that? Uh, I'm going to assume a map. Mm-hmm. Um, Shulk was trying to cuddle it. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> this has turned very homoerotic. I was gonna say it's just weird. <laughs> yes. Hey, and he's just <laughs> topless. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I was like, oh boy. I'm a soul man. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm a soul man. And I saw what I created and said it was good. Until Unicron. <laughs> do, 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 don't. Now it's deader than my brain cells. <laughs> Ooh. Fancy. Ah, it's Sarah from the Land Before Time. Hi, Sarah. You know, I just caught on like a couple weeks ago that her name was Sarah for Triceratops. Like, mm -hmm. that's how slow I am. <laughs> Damn near 30 years later. <laughs> oh, her name's Sarah because I had Triceratops. You fucking genius. It was called... Eight track cassettes mm -hmm. and disco infernos. Here it comes. Behold, Galvatron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to say I thought it was a meteor. I thought I thought Kalel was coming. Oh. Holy shit. Is what Link does. Oh, so we started shit. Oh, because we're great. It's our fault. Fuck. Yeah, this is this is exactly like how Transformers the movie started. Okay. Wow. Oh shit. So she is the embodiment of that one. Oh my god. And Zanza is the embodiment of the uh. Bionis. Wow. I am I don't like being quiet, but I kind of riveted. No, yeah, this is, is kinda of neat. It's a hell of a weapon. Mm hmm. Jesus. Wow, that's a lot of. Ow. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was in the intro. The whole fucking thing. But. I <laughs> took out a kidney and took out a. Oh, your shoulder. The giant. 
So they ruined their mechs. Yep. Well, shit. You know how much it costs to make a new one. And I blew it well. So, now I've got more questions. Which is a great game on the Nintendo system. <laughs> Come on, sup you, Tom. You're supposed to be making insults now. <laughs> I'm eating cookies. Uh, I'm watching this movie, dude. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a snore. <laughs> everybody has to deal with it. That's why they left the city. It's not because, like, resources were gone. It's just because, god damn, she's too loud. It's just, just shaking the city constantly <laughs> with the snore. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So it's all of Zanza's fault. We released him in our quest to stop them from killing everything. Oh, fuck. So we started it. It's all our problem. God damn it. Because I've got glasses on. Why well, she didn't choose mine is beyond me, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, look at my rack. Look at my... God. You got some serious things on your uh, joints. Why does it have to be my body? Because she wanted you. It's smoking. You are close to shock. Oh. Okay. Hot damn. <laughs> what? What? I'm... So basically, if I'm just going to extrapolate this out, she's going to become the head of the Mechonis, Shulk's going to lead the Bionis, and they're going to agree to say, nah, it's fine. Now. Oh, God. I thought maybe it was going to be one of those bullshits that uh, love is going to fix everything. Well, kind of, because oh. they like each other. But But in order to, to get ready for this, we must strip naked. Okay. I want to stop for a second. Her stomach was a vagina, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, I. Oh, fuck, my... Because oh. I'm sitting... Since, okay, I don't know if you guys see it, but there's been a change in the way this thing is graphically presented to us since I bought the Frame Meister, and it's taken a lot of the, the soft edges out of the game, so now everything's kind of jagged, and her stomach square up look like VJJ. <laughs> You know, survival instinct. That thing that we all have next to sex drive, except me. <laughs> except that guy. <laughs> yes, except me. <laughs> Jesus, they almost gave her Team Ninja boob physics. It's more than I got in high school. Gee, all the lies my teachers told me. <laughs> you ever read that book? Mm -mm. It's a good one. Um, talks about like a lot of things that you learn in... Uh, you know, like popular historical moments that you've learned oh, in school. The history one, yeah. Yeah, I, I do know a lot of that one. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, uh, I, I guess we're just gonna. She's just gonna teleport because she couldn't have done that. Yeah, couldn't have done that with all of us. Holy shit, that thing that Ricky's carrying. <laughs> Jeez. I was like, what the flying fuck is? Th oh Jesus, that's not a robot. Okay. 
We gotta do more things to get shit rolling. We are really at the end of the game. They're like stretching this. Yeah. Holy fuck. It looks like she's got Mickey, like, mouse ears. Hmm. Oh, God. And you're just gonna show me that? <laughs> this game is way too suggestive. So next time on Philly Film Games, another half-hour fuck episode. Yeah. Because the last 12 minutes were fucking cutscene. Oh, maybe we'll get things gone. Or maybe this will be over. Ah, I doubt it. Uh. Don't give me that luxury.